BBC Cata, Pump of it's just your boy Jason's Black and Rap, uh, and of course I'm back from the dead. So um, I know I'm a little late. I'm a little late on this video, clearly. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about the iPhone 8, and in the next video I want to talk to you about the iPhone 10. I figure I just split this up so that way, uh, if you want to just know about the 8 and my thoughts on it, you can just get that here. If you want the 10, uh, there'll be a link somewhere around here where you just go straight for the 10. Cool, cool. All right, so right here we're on uh, Apple's website, and I was there, not the event, but I was watching it live as it was going on. I should have done a video, but I didn't. Um, but here is the iPhone 8, and, uh, you know, none of this comes as a surprise because both the designs for the 8 and the 10 were completely leaked weeks in advance. Uh, there was some speculation on certain things, but overall... Um, just about everything that they announced falls in line with what we had already found out. Now, uh, one thing we didn't know that was a pretty cool surprise was the fact that this gold color was not the same gold color that was leaked before. It was leaked before was more that, I don't know, it had more of a rosiness to it, but it wasn't like the rose gold. It was a little different, but not as nice as this. I, I, I've heard so many people say that they, they were so much happier with this announcement than anything else. Uh, another cool surprise was the um, wireless charging, which we kind of knew was uh, possible with the glass back on the phone that we knew about um, during the leaks, but we weren't 100% sure if wireless charging was going to be a thing. So uh, that was cool. The updates to the camera, obviously a very good um, addition, including the um, Front facing uh, the the updates to the front facing camera, meaning that you can now do portrait mode with the front facing camera. Um, that is really cool as well uh, for the plus, not the original, I believe. Uh, so not the iPhone 8, but the iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, and then of course, same thing with the iPhone 10. Um, now another thing that we didn't know about was well this of course, but what I'm talking about is the AirPad. So the AirPad is kind of a bigger version of this key pad um, and basically it's longer and you could place your iPhone 8, iPhone 10 or uh, you know throw in your Series 3 Apple Watch and your AirPods and charge all of them wirelessly at the same time so pretty cool deal same type of uh, phone models you got the 4.7 inch display for the iPhone 8 and 5.5 inch display for the um, iPhone 8 Plus now, my thoughts, well, let's just keep going down. Screen now comes down, comes with new uh, True Tone, so depending on your ambience, the uh, screen itself is going to change based on, uh, on that. Uh, let's see, well, of course, there was the announcement of the, what do you call it? I already forgot what it was, but the, mm, the VR aspect, the, uh, it's right in front of your face. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe I'll scroll into it. Maybe I'll just happen to get on it. Let's see. Where is it? Yeah, camera, camera. Where is it? So, yeah, new improvements to the camera on the 8 and 8 Plus. Um, the A11 Bionic chip, which is really cool. And also a new codec that is actually part... Uh, part of the 8 and the 8 Plus and the 10, uh, allowing 4K videos to be compressed better, so that's going to be cool. Uh, comes with the A11 Bionic chip. Uh, of course, a iOS 11 is coming out tomorrow. Um, this, is what I wanted, this is what I wanted to talk about. Uh, this thing here. What do you call it? Augmented reality. There we go. Augmented reality. So, <laughs> uh, one of the big features that, that was announced with the 8 and 8 Plus is the fact that the internals allow, now allow for a much smoother, more accurate uh, augmented reality experience. Um, and it's pretty much native to the 8 Plus and the 8 and, of course, the iPhone 10. Um, this opens the door for new possibilities when it comes to games, but you know, we kind of have some augmented reality apps already. One that I play is Pokemon Go. So, but yeah, this is supposed to be better, faster, more RAM and all that stuff. The A11 Bionic chip, 
uh, offers extraordinary augmented reality apps and games that will change the way you see the world. So who knows how that's going to improve uh, Pokemon Go, but I'm assuming it's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, so yeah, wireless charging. Here's the air mat that I'm talking about. So you place your iPhone 8 or the 10 on this mat with your watch, AirPods. I don't have AirPods. I'm not even remotely interested in the AirPods. I got, of course it's downstairs, not here with me, but I got a set of wireless headphones and they're better than this and only costed, only costing me eight bucks. <laughs> but hey, whatever. Uh, let's see. So yeah. There's there's the AirPod again. Air Power Mat. Uh, giant stuff for iPhone. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to iOS 11, which is coming out tomorrow for most devices on the iOS platform. Um, so we'll get to have more features and functions and all that stuff. Overall, I, I will say this. I don't really see the iPhone 8 as that big of an incremental change. Um, I definitely see it as more of a 7S upgrade, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, yes, the fact that you now have wireless charging, it's a glass back, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the form factor is still the same. You got the, uh, what do you call it? The um, the 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 tower I'm not, not towers the uh, signal thingies the lines that okay I have a six plus six s plus so um, these things these lines see that yeah on the seven series they're just here so anyway what I'm trying to say is that on the eights same deal the eights you know it doesn't have an actual home button doesn't have a headphone jack all that's still gone it still has pretty much the exact same design language as the seven so i really think it should be considered a 7s um every s series has a hardware improvement um so why not just make this an, an s 7s i don't know but anyway whoa What's going on here? All right, so anyway, uh, this iPhone 8, 8 Plus, okay. Um, cool, I mean, overall, you know, the camera and everything's cool, but I just don't know if I would consider it that exciting. If you guys do, then obviously that's something. And of course, this one's gonna be released first in line uh, ahead of the iPhone 10, and of course, it's gonna be cheaper. So it's probably gonna be the more budget-friendly iPhone. Um, but of course, there is that new iPhone 10 with the full display that we're going to talk about in the next video. Um, and people are probably going to save up the extra $200 to get the base model for that. But that's not to say that the iPhone 8 won't be exciting because there are more color options. Uh, it has majority of the same internals as the iPhone 10. Um, it's just, and then you have two different sizes to go with. So. Choose your pick. I think we're going to wait out for the iPhone 10. Um, but if anything, yeah, iPhone 8. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Give me a like, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe to this channel for future updates. I'll see you all next time. It's Jason the Blog Rapper. Much love. God bless. Peace.